Hello and welcome back to Prison Architects. So, I have noticed that our cell block D is very, very close to being done. So, I think we're going to try and get that. So, all we need is five more beds, I think. Yeah. So, what we could do, obviously, is we could just go and change these to bunk beds or something like that. I'm not going to do that because that doesn't really fit with what we've got going on here. So, let's see what else we could do here. Um, is this still saying that's yard? No, I think that's, I think that's dormitory all the way there. That's fine. I'm just seeing if there's any other logical areas. Uh, I should have it on speed 5 so we can make money while we're doing this. We could maybe fit in some more over here, I suppose. Like at the end. But I don't, didn't want this to be too far out in case they just tunneled out. Hmm. I should really have CCTV at the end here, actually. Uh, that's something we can do very quickly. It's like a little CCTV camera in there. Just to, uh... You know, cover the hallway. Um, we could always extend another area. Like we can fit in, maybe we can fit in at least one more cell in there. I'm fairly certain. Um, yeah, we could probably fit in an another cell along here as well. Let's do that. Okay, let's just do a quick build of. Uh, it's like that, right? So if I did that there. And then did the same thing to that one. Uh, that's not going to work. But that, that's at least one more bed. Okay. Along this way. Uh, I'm going to need to do some interesting stuff. I should still be able to get this to work. Maybe I'll make this a longer one. To make up for the fact that it's not as... Uh, well, yeah. To make up for the fact that it's not as wide. We'll make it long. That's fine. We'll put in a... Not a large jail door. Just a jail door. Uh, it needs a bed, so they can have a bed there, and it also needs a toilet. They can have... I guess it probably makes more sense to have the toilet at the end, and then the bed further down. Yeah, sure. Whatever, something like that. It's a bit of an odd one. There's two more we've got there. Um... Yeah, let's see where else we could put them. Let's try to find little places here and there. We could probably fit in at least one along the end here, couldn't we? Or a couple along the end here, actually. It's going to break our patrols again, but that's okay. We could definitely fit in, like, one of those along here. Let me just work it out. Yeah, yeah, that works. So we go out there. How long does it have to go? One, two, three. One, two, three. Last one for the door. Space. One, two, three. Last one for the door. None can go in there. Can I fit one in there? No. Okay. Uh, let's go with that for just now. We'll go jail door. Um, toilet, if I can find it. There we go. Toilet. And then bed. Perfect. Something like that. Right, oh, I also need to fix my deployment, because that's all going to be rubbish now, right? Yeah, so all of that actually needs to go along here, I think. And none of them need to be there. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Take away that schedule one only. Yeah. One needs to be applied at all times there. And then armed patrols. Uh, one at all times. There we go. Good. I should fix that a little bit. So that's just got one, two, three. So that's just got four. So we just need one more room, I think. Hopefully. I should just mark these as cells as well, just preemptively. Uh, so that's going to be a cell. That's going to be a cell. And that is going to be a cell. Oh, yes, that's the bit I'm forgetting. But they do actually need to have pipes. So this one looks like it's already piped in, which is nice. Over here. Uh, needs a little bit to get that one piped in, but that's okay. Something like that. Uh, and then we need a hot water pipe to just go along there. Okay, good. Right, so let's see how that goes be fairly straightforward and then we're just missing one I think at that point we'll see though we'll see what's this one missing the bed okay so that one's done uh it looks like the cell has gone one too far there or maybe it, uh, maybe it, it's just trying to um, show the name but can't because it's not large enough space there we go 
This one's about to be done. Nice. Fantastic. So that's another one. So... Oh, these ones aren't right yet? Wait. What do we... Oh, it's not got the jail door. Okay, that's fun. I was very confused why I didn't count for a second there, but that's okay. So those two... Uh, where are we going? Are these looking fine? Let's see why we haven't done these two yet. Oh! Incoming call from the CEO. We have a PR disaster brewing here. Far too many prisoners have escaped recently and it's your fault. Lock this place down and make sure nobody else escapes. Otherwise, the press will expect your head on a platter. Yeah, nobody's going to escape. I'm not worried about that. Wait, were there more escapes today? No, I don't think so. I think we're good. We should probably be fine with a whole day without escapes. I would hope, anyway. Uh, these do not have any um, water. We'll put in some water there. Large pipe, water. Seems good to me. This one's... Uh, oh, not got the bed yet. I see. That's fine. Not really worried about the security disaster, to be honest with you. I don't think it's going to cause us any major issues. Uh, we just need one more bed. Hmm. Over here, it does seem like the best option for a bed. Just somewhere. Um... I don't know. I'm trying to figure out where I want it. Could fit in another one over here, I suppose. Potentially, you could fit another one in that dormitory. Uh, maybe, like, one here, actually? That would probably make the most sense for somewhere to put a bed. Yeah, let's go there. And then that will give us the uh, capacity that we need. Fantastic. Right. And we've done it. Fantastic. Now, is there a cell block E? There is a cell block E. Raise it to 500. Oh, that's uh, quite a lot. Okay. Uh, that would definitely need a significant land expansion if we were going up to 500. Oh, I haven't connected this thing up. That's fine. Uh, we're going to connect that one up here. Yeah. Did that work? Oh, of course. You connect from the CCTV monitor to the CCTV camera. There we go. Now we can kind of see a little bit more of that. I was kind of hoping it would show us a little bit further, but whatever. That's fine. Um, we've got some more prisoner intake. That's all all right. Carpentry's still going on. I think we're okay now. I could just take the grant for that anyway, because it gives me 10,000 advance payments, so why not? Right. Prisoners are all being fed. That's all looking good. Yeah. Okay. I think everything's looking all right here. Uh, just seeing if we have any kind of worries anywhere. I don't think so. We have a lot of prisoners who are up for parole, but that's okay. Um, that That's just good news. That means that we're going to get lots that are uh, yeah, going through this process. We'll get the early release bonus. It's all looking good. Let's have a look at our grading. 13% reoffending rate. Is that good? Uh, I don't really know. Reform is 3. I'm guessing that's not very good. Security is a 1. Health is down. Punishment is very high. They're very good at punishing people. Okay. Interesting. Right. Uh, anything else we need to worry about here? Don't think so. They're all getting visitors. Any needs that are lacking right now? Uh, food's a need that's lacking, which is weird. But that's probably because it's about to be food time, I would imagine. Exercise and family, yeah. All of those are ones that they get time for during the day, so those should all drop down. In fact, family's going down right now. Okay, yeah. Oh, what was that? Oh, we finished our grant for, um, yeah, for the beds. Cool, is there any more? No, it's just this one, cell block E. Okay, interesting. Uh, a lot more money in here. Yeah, it's good. Could do, like, a shakedown or a lot. Or a, uh, a shakedown or a lockdown here if we wanted to make sure nobody leaves. Uh, I think we did a shakedown after the bunch of people left previously, though. That's a little bit of a bottleneck. Hmm. How would we fix that? I guess you just need to have a guard. You'd make the area small. You know what? I'm trying to think how we'd make this more efficient. So, let me, let's just try some things. So, like this area here, right? Let me just check the... Um, 
Not deployment. Uh, is it deployment? Yeah, deployment. Okay, so this is fine. I can do this. Because I'm not going to mess up any deployments by doing this. I actually think if I do this, I will make it more efficient. Now, might not seem very smart right now, but if I get this bit done... One more, please. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a guard permanently at all times deployed in here. Which should mean that this makes this more efficient, because the guard should be able to constantly open this. Yeah, see? That's what I was going for. To make a little airlock for the guard. And then you can have a guard who's permanently on opening duty, and that means that they can just move through. Ah, that's perfect. Yeah, so that's kind of how you want to have things, I guess, if you want people to move around the prison. I think maybe this area should be larger if you're going to do that. So may maybe actually, instead of doing what I just did, I should do it like this. Um, maybe also we could have larger doors, and that would fix some of the issues. I think three was a very bad decision in terms of size for area, but uh, that's fine. Uh, dismantle. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, and then I can say that a guard should have to be deployed in here at all times, which makes it a little bit better. Yeah. So now we can open both sides there. And that should be a little bit more efficient. And then here, what you could do as well, if you wanted to make it very good, is you go like, uh, where is metal detector? Metal detector. You do something like uh, this as well. So then they have to go through the area. Uh, they're probably going to need, like, uh, electricity as well. So let's just do something like that. Uh, that. That. Just make sure it's got electricity. But you'd set it up like this. This obviously isn't the only way path through, because we got this one, which kind of makes this a little bit bad now. But then you do something like this. So now you have a guard stationed here at all times, and you can open the doors... And he'll hopefully catch anybody who's trying to escape with stuff. We passed the uh, check, by the way, which was good. But yeah, I think that's kind of a good way to have things. I don't know how you stop the tunnels. The tunnels were a problem. Apparently, dogs are meant to find things. I guess what you do is you just have, like, people further out. So you maybe have, like, guard towers here as well. Something like that. Do we have guard towers? Nah, we'll buy guard towers. Why not? That seems okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Uh, but maybe you have guard towers, like, in the corners to spot people. And you don't necessarily try and stop people tunneling out. You just make it so that if they tunnel out, then they're screwed, basically. So, like, you, um... Maybe at this point, you have, like, another bit that goes around the outside. And then you have, like, um... Guards patrolling that bit. And you basically just spiral it out like that. To the point where they can't tunnel out. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, maybe you also have more land, so that if they tunnel out, there's a huge amount of space for you to catch them. Because right now, if they tunnel out here, they've got like, you know, 10 tiles or something. If that. So they can just escape straight away. So yeah, maybe that would work. Uh, how far are, are we off guard towers? 14 hours. Okay, two deaths today? Snitch. Uh, rival gang member. Hmm. That's not good. Three deaths today. And gunshots going off. Well, that is not ideal. Um, killed by armed guard with shotgun. Definitely not the way I want things to go here. Prisoners are very unhappy at that. Just unconscious because for some reason we needed to leave them there unconscious. Okay. Oh, that was awful. Uh, what can we do to fix? I suppose we could try this intelligence thing. So you could then go onto this one and say, um, Hey, uh, you. How do I do this? So I go intelligence. Inform. Alright, okay. Recruit a, a confidential informant. Find a potential CI. Go to the experience tab of the rap sheet. Click on the recruit button. Okay. Uh, so I can go here. Experience. Recruit. Experience recruit. Yeah. And then you. 
For some reason, you have Dump as your main one. Uh, out because out it's targeting the light, not the person. So it's Kenway. So we're going prisoners. Uh, Kenway. Are these alphabetical order? Of course not. Uh, where's Kenway? Kenway is here. There we go. Oh, I can't click on Kenway? There we go. There we go. Right. Then we recruit him there. But then what you can do is you can go in here. Your informants. And then you can activate them. I guess. So I could say, like, activate. And activate. And activate. And try and get them to find out information for me. All oh, right, so then they're heading over here to tell us everything they know. I understand. Does this give us a lot of information to work from? I don't know. Then go gangs. So there are members killed or something. Uh, I don't know. Is this working? I, I don't really know what we're doing here. Uh, okay, and then you deactivate them and send them back. Okay. This seems very weird. And then, oh, and then that gives you information about people. And then I guess you can just punish them or something. If you want to, you can just like say this one's gonna be like up. I could just say upgrade him to like max security or something because he's extremely strong, volatile, and fearless. So I'd move him off, and then like if, if I see snitch and ex law enforcement, I would move them to like protective custody if I had any. Oh, okay. I understand. I think I understand. I'm not gonna go too much into that, but I understand how it works now, right. We got guard towers yet? We do not have guard towers yet. That's fine. Can get that any moment now, hopefully. Uh, guard towers. Four hours. Okay. Apart from the deaths, everything else seems to be going all right. I gotta say, this does look like fairly depressing yard time we've got going on there. Hmm. Okay. Um, wait, he's a, he's max security, why is he going into the medium security area? Why is he even allowed in there under, oh, because it's not. Okay. Well, that would explain it then. There we go. That's better. This entire area is medium security only. So he shouldn't be allowed in it. That explains why we had some weirdness going on there. Okay. Uh, anything else we need to worry about? Don't think so. I think it's going fairly well. So is this area, so this area should hopefully catch anyone who's leaving from here. We can actually see it because uh, when this one ends, we should be able to see a bunch of people walking through here through the metal detectors. That then marks them. Oh, and that's license plates to export. So that is being yeah, that's fine. So a lot of these ones are being caught and they need to be searched. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. It's actually a neat touch that the license plates do trigger it. I mean, the fact that the metal sheets don't trigger it going the other direction isn't as neat, but, you know. It's still cool, I guess. Fine. Um, yeah. Well, I think I'm kind of happy with our prison. I think that this would happily run for days and days if I just... I hands off the keyboard. Apart from tunnels, you know, it would probably run. Tunnels being the only thing I think you have to manually do. So I think I'm quite happy to end the series here. So thank you for watching. I know it's not been the most consistent of series that's gone up on the channel. It's been a little bit, you know, uh, a little bit of gap between some episodes. It's not been great. We had a little bit of a restart at the start, but hopefully you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in whatever comes next. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.